Hello, Minnewashta fourth graders and their families. My name is Mrs. Mozingo, and I'm here as part of Curriculum Night to share a little bit about what we're going to do this year. Um, my backstory, I am the new old art teacher, or the old new art teacher. I used to teach at Minnewashta for 11 years, then I went to the high school to teach the teenagers on purpose. So I was there for 10 years and now I'm back because I have a kindergartner starting at this school uh, because I love it so much. Um, I used to teach at MIA, the Minneapolis Institute of Art. I teach currently at the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. That's my side hustle. And then also at the University of St. Thomas, working with pre-service teachers. So I have dedicated my life to art because I think it's extremely important, especially in the lives of young people. So for grade four, here's what it looks like. Again, we wanna to try to get them all about um, visual storytelling, um, telling their own story, trying to craft a kind of a narrative. And ultimately, and we've been talking about this already, that people create and interact with objects, places, and design that define, shape, enhance, and empower their lives. So what are the ways that even everyday objects can, what is it about the way they're designed that could potentially uh, help us in our everyday lives? And then how does art help us to understand ourselves and the world around us? So again, we're trying to figure out how does art communicate to us? Um, why would a person need to know about art if they're not an artist? So what are the qualities, the storytelling, the historical narrative, the criticism, the observation? How can somebody else be affected by um, a work of art? And then getting down to the essential questions of why do people make art? So really that big art arc of history, what are the ways in which and why that people create art in different places and in within cultures around the world. So to increase their visual vocabulary, that's huge. Get their hands dirty, huge. Uh, using a variety of 2D and 3D media. So 2D being drawing, painting, um, uh, collage, mixed media, things like that. And then the 3D would be things like clay, wire, again, anything that you can see the top, the side, and the bottom of. So I welcome your feedback. I welcome to hear about the experiences your kids are having in art class. Uh, my email is melanie.mozingo, M-O-Z-I-N-G-O, rhymes with bingo, at mtk.org. So I look forward to talking with you in person or via Google Meet. Let me know what works for you. And thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.